What characterises the Lake Air Basin is that it's, it's uh, nearly a desert, very dry place, but it's got some pretty decent streams that fill up and flood. It's where the Great Artesian Basin, which is the big underground aquifer, where that leaks to the surface at these natural springs, which has really been my primary focus. For some reason, which we don't fully understand, evolution's gone crazy at these locations and created specialised organisms across a whole bunch of um, life forms from fish through crustaceans, mollusks, to plants that have evolved to those precise conditions. My main interest is botanical and I'm out here this time to do some recovery work at the most important mound spring site in uh, the Great Artesian Basin and also tracking down a new species of eucalyptus that we discovered last year. In the 1980s there was a lot of interest in the mound springs in South Australia, particularly because Roxby Downs was a big mine that was going to use lots of groundwater. So there was biological surveys done in South Australia and it wasn't until the 2000s that we realised in Queensland that it was time we caught up and started to understand something about our springs. Uh, there's been thousands and thousands of bores that have been dug and so that's diminished the pressure in the aquifer which has caused these springs to dry up. I got some funding to, to kick off those surveys and we trawled through the historical record to find out where the springs were. We spoke to the landholders on, of those locations. That revealed that many of the springs had gone extinct, but those that survived, we had the good chance to um, travel around Queensland over a number of years and find those springs and document their values and assess their conditions and then think strategically about what the conservation issues are for those special places and, and what we needed to do. Edge Baston Station has the premier hotspot of diversity across the springs which in themselves are really important places but this is the key place in the uh, Lake Air Basin for spring conservation. You know I think it's important for researchers to kind of not live in blissful isolation from what's actually happening out there. Single snapshot in time doesn't tell you much about these landscapes because they're famous for their boom and bust cycles so the opportunity to to speak to people who've had a long-term perspective, such as the land, uh, you know, the landholders and pastoralists out here, is absolutely critical to really kind of getting the insights that you can't get in a small snapshot of time. Primary responsibility for conservation activities anywhere, and particularly in the Lake Air Basin, is to try and preserve against extinction. We shouldn't under our watch, um, sit here idle and watch species um, disappear from the planet.